We're uncovering new information surrounding the fallout of a former Deckard police officer now charged with aggravated assault after this happened last month. He's telling him to get on the ground. He's not doing anything. We need the police. The Rutherford County Sheriff's Office says that was an off-duty police officer from the Franklin County town of Deckard, more than 50 miles from his jurisdiction, pointing his police-issued gun at a driver after a road rage incident off I-24 last month. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb is in our Five Alert Center, and he's been investigating what's happened since. Jason, you've uncovered some public records involving Ward's past that could raise some red flags. Yeah, that's right, Vicki. These are just some of the publicly available training records for former officer Matthew Ward concerning his time at two different police departments. The documents from the Fort Walton Beach Police Department in Florida reveal that before joining the Deckert Police Department, Ward attended a police academy while working for the Enterprise Police Department in Alabama. While there, he got in an argument with a fellow trainee who came at Ward and threatened to find him at his home. The report says Ward then said something similar to, quote, if you come to my hometown, I'll kill you. And the Enterprise Police Department fired Ward. He then went to the Fort Walton Police Department where he didn't make it through training before resigning after his supervisor said that police work just wasn't for him. All of this had some aldermen in the city of Deckard asking this week why the Deckard Police Department didn't reach out to the Fort Walton Beach Police to find out more about Ward's history. Here's what the police chief had to say about that at the meeting. Rose, did you contact this officer's previous employer? No. No? Why? Because he didn't actually, he wasn't actually an officer there. He was going through his field training office program. But if I applied for a job at Walmart, they would contact my previous employer, even if I was there for training. Now, we have made several attempts to contact Matthew Ward through both calling and text messages. He has not returned any of those, but we will make sure you know if and when he or his attorney does. We're working on a lot more in this story coming up tonight on News Channel 5 at 10. But if you'd like to see all of these documents for yourself right now, it's all up on our website on our in-depth investigative article on newschannel5.com. I also have a link to it on my Facebook page at Jason Lamb NC5. Live in the Five Alert Center, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.